Good morning, students. Welcome to the math class. Children, we are doing chapter play with patterns. In the last video, you have learnt about patterns with the help of some examples. So let us continue. Today, I am going to tell you about types of patterns. So, students, patterns are of two types. One is repeated patterns, and the other one, growing patterns. So today we are going to study in detail about repeated patterns. Here it is a clock. You can see it is a clock where different numbers are written in different colors. When you will look at this carefully, you will see these are forming a pattern. You can see this number 1, it is in yellow color, number 2 blue, number 3 red. Then again number 4 is yellow. It means these three colors are being repeated. Yellow, blue, red, yellow, blue, red and same. So here these colors of the numbers are forming a pattern which is a repeated pattern. And one more pattern is being formed here that is you can see here the faces of these numbers. It is a square, number 12, number 1 is a circle and number 2 is a triangle. You have already learnt about shapes, plain shapes these are in the last chapter. So these shapes are also forming a pattern that is also a repeated pattern. Let us continue with a few more examples. Look at these examples carefully. First one when you will see this you will see it is a smiling face then a star again a smiling face then again a star. So next we can guess it would be a smiling face. So these shapes, these pictures, these are being drawn in a particular pattern. They are repeating themselves. So it is a repeated pattern. Similarly here, square, circle, triangle, square, this would be a circle. Third one, these are numbers written in a particular pattern. Number 1, 5, 6. Then again it is 1. So we can see 1, 5, 6 are being repeated. They are forming a repeated pattern. So after 1 we can guess next would be number 5 and then 6. So these are a few examples of repeated patterns. So children you must have observed that numbers, shapes, pictures, objects, it can be anything. When they are repeated in a particular pattern it is called a repeated pattern. And when you have been given a repeated pattern, you have to observe it very carefully so that you can continue it to find out what comes next. So children, here are a few questions based on the same concept. Look at the given pattern and continue. So what is the first pattern? It is written red, green, yellow, red. It means we can observe after yellow again it is red means these colors are being repeated so after red what will come next it would be green yes so here you will write green and after green you can guess it would be yellow so complete this then next one is second pattern here are a few squares drawn for you all of these are same but when you will observe it carefully you will see it is up then down, then up, then it would be here, down. So you will draw a square here, where the dots would be in downward direction, like this. Similarly, you can come to this pattern. Now, move to the next one. It is third. Here are a few arrows for you. The first arrow is pointing in upward direction, then sidewards, then down, then this side. Then again upward. So here you can see after these four arrows again it is same like the first one. So it is also a repeated pattern. But here you have to understand one thing that these arrows are moving in a particular pattern. What is the pattern? First it is up. Then right side. Then down. Then left. Then up. So in these patterns, these arrows are changing their position. These are being repeated but using a particular rule that is to change their position. So after up, it will be again like this. So you will draw the arrow 
pointing like this. I hope you have understood this pattern children. In the same manner, continue this and fill in the blank. So what is next? Let us continue. The fourth pattern. Here you can see there are a few triangles drawn for you. Four triangles are there. And you can see in the triangle there is a small circle. Look at the position of this door. Here it is drawn in this corner. Then it is moving to the next corner. And then here. In the triangle we know three corners are there. So these doors or circles are being repeated in a particular pattern. That is they are being following a rule. What is the rule? First corner, second corner, third corner. After this third corner again it will be here. That is only drawn. Yes. One, two, three. Again here. So what will come next here children? You can see it would be again a triangle where the door was here in the last one. So now it would be here. The circle or the jaw. In the same manner you will draw the next triangle here and continue it. Now what is the next one? This is the last example. Here you can see a few alphabets are written for you with numbers. First one is X with number 5. Then it is Y with number 6. Z the number 7. So these are 5, 6, 7, X, Y, Z. The next one is again X with 5. It means these three are being repeated. So what will come here after X? It will be this one. So you will write Y with number 6. And after Y it will be this. Z with 7. So children these were a few examples based on repeated patterns. Simply you have to look at the given pattern very carefully. Observe it and then continue the same to complete the pattern. So you will write down these questions in your notebook and fill these blanks and complete them. Thank you. Have a nice day.